Ferris Engineered Wood is a small family owned business that's been operating in the San Ann Canyon in Oregon for over 100 years. We make one of the world's most advanced engineered wood product, which is a mass plywood panel. And that mass plywood panel is used in high rise and commercial construction throughout the United States. The environmental attributes of wood products are second to none. They're a naturally carbon sequestering solar product that we can utilize to make one of the most advanced wood products on the planet. The mass ply panel is our company's proprietary take on a mass timber product. Many people are familiar with the cross summited timber panel, which is a lumber based mass timber panel used as a substitute for concrete and steel in high rise construction. Our panel happens to be veneer based, so we peel a log kind of like you're unrolling a roll of toilet paper into what one eighth inch thick pieces of veneer that are a lot like paper. And we assemble those pieces of paper back together until they are a one inch thick lamella. We use those lamellas then to construct a larger panel that can be up to 12 feet wide and 48 feet long and up to 12 inches thick. Substituting for typically floors and roofs in commercial construction. We were attempting to design a facility in order to create large panels out of smaller pieces of wood. In order to do that, we were cutting a joint into our panels called a scarf joint. Unfortunately, the, the equipment that we were using initially didn't have the tolerances or the consistency that we were looking for. We turned to Pretec to help us design a system with FANUC robots in order to create the consistency and quality of product that we were really looking for. We are an ASI for FANUC Robotics, and we service a multitude of industries from the wood products you see here all the way to aerospace. The issue was surrounding these mass plywood panels, and how do you get them to come together with a scarf joint? One of the problems was, was the consistency of that joint, and how do we make that joint come together? And one of the ways to do that was by using a robot. In this particular case, we'd selected the R2000 210L. Everything is based on how well that joint comes together and holds. If the joint is not well put together, it can come apart. Having them come apart will ruin a big panel. The end of arm tool, it'll come down and it'll grab the plywood panel that's going to be scarfed. It'll use vacuum to pick that up. But you can't just use vacuum when you're presenting that to a scarf tool because if you did, the tool might just tear the panel right off. You have a device that will square that plywood up, which is vital for that scarf joint because you have to have the same distance of your joint on each side and in the center. Then it clamps it down, holds it, and then it can present it to that tool and then it can turn it around and do it to the same tool. And one of the objects of using the same tool, of course, is that you have a matched joint. You're using the same cutter head to be able to have that wood together. Each load that comes out of the scarf line, we measure the scarf just to make sure that the measurements are correct. It's an eight and a quarter inch scarf. You've got four and a sixteenth on one side, four and a sixteenth on the other with that hook in the middle kind of just bonds it really well together. We're using the FANUC robot to really control the scarf cutting process to make sure that we're within tolerances. Additionally, it's a lot less labor, a lot less problem for our employees, a lot less manual labor for our employees. It's an easier process for them to manage. The robots have totally changed my job here. It used to be a lot more physical, where I would be exhausted, and a lot of running around and checking things. But now, it's more fun. It's interesting how well the robots perform in their programming. It frees me up to load the line and look at other things that I can be helpful doing. If you have somebody who's new to industry, it can be scary. It's like, what is this teach pendant? Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? You don't have to be afraid. Just need a little training, and it's available through the FANUC network. So our technicians can do training, FANUC can do training, and it's been a, a real good benefit. I didn't have any experience with any kind of robotics. I was a little scared 
honestly, when you know they said, hey, you gotta learn that. But it was really easy. It was simple, the program was simple, and the robot responds and does exactly what it, you tell it to do, what it's supposed to do. There are many environmental benefits to our product when compared to concrete and steel in construction. It takes far less embodied energy to produce our product than it does with concrete and steel. We're eminently recyclable. We sequester carbon in the cells of our products that we produce. If people are concerned about climate change, you should be building with Mastimer products like our mass bio panel. We're looking at technology and robotics in particular as a way to support the innovation that our industry needs to survive and our company in particular to survive for another 100 years.